All right, so Eminem just dropped his new single, his latest single, along with a music video called Houdini. And it's got people buzzing, saying, oh, the old Eminem is back. And that he he had a little bar towards Megan Thee Stallion, and they asked him, did he diss her? And woo woo woo. And I'm here to give a little review on Eminem. The song Houdini, both the song and the music video, reminds me of the old Eminem. You know, the, his first two albums, I believe it was, um, not Infinity, but his uh, the core albums that I remember as a child growing up, because I loved me some Eminem growing up. I loved Eminem. I was the biggest Eminem fan as a child. His albums, the Eminem Show and Encore, it reminds me of that. It's like very silly, um, you know, comic. He's literally in a, in a comic book. He plays a comic book character, uh, Batman's uh, sidekick Robin, in the music video. And, you know, he has, you know, the, the song features many different celebrities, you know, saying like, you know, guess who's back? You know, like, remember the Slim Shady Show? Guess who's back, 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 back again? So it has a little bit of those, um, the element of uh, nostalgia, at least for me, in the early 2000s when I was in elementary school and I used to just bang out to Eminem all the time. Again, I loved Eminem as a child. I remember being in fourth grade and me and some um, some male friends of mine, you know, as little kids, we got, you know, we went with friends of all sexes. And me and some male friends from school, we literally would stop cars riding by, and I would we would ask them, hey, is it either Eminem or 50 Cent? And they were on 50 Cent, so they said 50 Cent is the best rapper out right now. I said, no, it's Eminem. I was the only one who was vouching for Eminem. I said Eminem's, his wordplay, his style, the way, like, again, like, it was just, to me, it was just so unique and, like, just mind-boggling how he could put words together and the way he bends words to make them rhyme, even though it seems like it could be almost impossible for them to rhyme but he does it in such a way where it's just phenomenal. But to be honest with you, most of Eminem's music today, it did not age well at all. Um, a lot of his music, I would describe it as just being angry white boy music. Like growing up as a kid, I liked his songs Bully, Toy Soldier, Back, which my dad, he was, he was pissed when he heard me bumping that in my MP3 player. I got in a lot of trouble for that, thanks Eminem. But like a lot of his music, you know, talking about Kim killing his baby mom, you know, him and the relationship of woes that he had with his, his ex-wife and mother of his daughter, um, Haley, his ex-wife, Kim. It was a lot of just angry music where he was just like, they said Eminem makes the type of music where it just makes you want to get high, get drunk and just punch holes into walls because you're just that pissed off at the world. And I would agree because, again, like a lot of his, again, as like I want to reiterate, I was a huge Eminem fan as a child, like from the ages of like seven years old. To about 12, all I blasted was Eminem. All these angry, hateful messages, misogynistic music, I was blasting that as a girl, a little girl. And I've, I've noticed, like, when I got into high school around 14, 15, like, he had some things that he had collabed with, like with Rihanna. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. You know, I like some of his music, but I remember I noticed I slowly started to teeper off and I got more into R&B music and just more relaxing other uh, hip-hop artists. Because, again, it's like it didn't age well. It was just like, I didn't want to feel angry and riled up all the time, if that makes sense. So I had just stopped listening to Eminem. Like nowadays, I have a little bit of his songs on my playlist for my workout music when I go to the gym. But for a lot of um, for the majority of my adulthood up until now, I don't ever listen to Eminem. And it's crazy. Again, the video is very silly and funny. You know, he has some bars here and there. It has that old Eminem, Eminem cadence from those albums of Encore and the Eminem show, which again, again, it just hit me with such nostalgia. Um, again, he's a comic book character, uh, Batman sidekick Robin, in the video from Houdini, and I'll have to give it to him. Eminem has not aged at all. He has not aged a day. Um, I know he was on drugs for a long time. I believe he had issues with relapsing, but it appears that he's clean. Whether he's clean or not, like he literally looks the same for 20 plus years later when he came out back in the late 90s. Eminem has not aged a day. Music video on the song Houdini. Eminem kicked out a little verse that says it goes something like, you know, what if I uh, were to collab with Megan the Stallion? Would I have a shot? I get a shot at a feat, like you know, as a feature. You know, it was a like a double, maybe even triple entendre about you know, could I get a shot with having a you know Megan the Stallion do a song with me? And also, would I have a shot at the feat? Like, remember she got shot in the foot, allegedly, I believe her, by Tory Lanes back in 2020. And a lot of people saying like, oh, it's disrespectful. He's disrespecting a black woman. And, you know, why would he even play with her? Like, but listen, that's what Eminem does. All throughout his career, he likes to throw shots at celebrities, make fun of celebrities, make fun of his family, make fun of himself. But mainly he likes to make fun of and pick at female celebrities. Actress Christina Aguilera, Pink, but Mariah Carey, Mariah V. Carey. Like, he literally, that's just like his niche almost, you know? Not making excuses, but I don't believe it was a diss. I just thought it like as a slick bar. You know, Megan, he mentioned your name. So, hey. 
What are you guys' thoughts on Eminem's new and latest single, Houdini?